Hello, I'm Patrick, and I'm an addict. Hi, Hi Patrick. Patrick. Hello. It feels like a lifetime ago that I started using. In reality, it was just this, this last winter. I started using drugs to try and fall asleep, to get up in the morning, try and get through my day, but mostly to try and forget. To try and dull the pain of what I lost. More importantly, who I lost. It's been a year since my wife died. I thought the pills were gonna make things easier, but they didn't. They, you know, I almost lost everything. My, my career, my daughter, our beautiful little girl. But by the grace of God, I was able to hold on. 200 days of counting. Nice. And I'm one of the lucky ones. You know, I have friends that support me and I've made great friends. And I continue to make more. Hey. Hi. Sorry to walk in on you. Usually it's deserted this time of night. Yeah, that's why I came. I'll give you some privacy. No, please stay. Patient? I told Emma I would uh, come and light a candle for Robin. A year ago. Oh, Patrick, I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I've been better. <laughs> but I have been worse. How's Emma? <sighs> Emma, we, uh... We went and fed some squirrels. Oh. <laughs> Robin used to take her down there all the time and he used to drive me crazy. Oh, you're not a squirrel fan? No, they're like glorified rats with like bushy tails. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's tradition, so. Gotta keep that alive, right? Well, Emma is lucky to have a dad like you. No. I'm the lucky one. She's amazing, you know? She's not only like the best daughter in the world, but. She has so many people that care about her, that support her, you know, family and friends and you. So what happened here? I wasn't going to say anything, oh. but... I crashed into Dr. Weber with an overwatered flower <laughs> arrangement. You should see him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't worry about it. He takes any opportunity he can to strut his stuff in the locker room. <laughs> no, not that funny, huh? Uh, I'm, I'm it. sorry, no. I, I'm just, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know what I am. The inquiry? No word yet. Nerves must be shot. Yeah. Yeah, that's part of it, but I just, I don't know. Mostly I just can't stop thinking about Officer Carlson. All right, that's what the cabin's for. He was studying for his detective's exam. Married, three kids. They were planning their first trip to Disney World this summer. How do you know all that? I went to his memorial service, sat in the back. Is that weird? No, it's human. I feel guilty, I get it. This isn't gonna help, but you know, these things happen. Not to everyone. I, I knew a nurse who never messed up the way that I did. A nurse who never lost a patient so carelessly. She was very fortunate then. Oh, she was... She was amazing. And I wanted to be the same kind of nurse. The nurse my mother was. You said was. Is your mom not a nurse anymore? She passed away. Wow. I'm so sorry, Sabrina. I, I didn't know. It's okay. I just... I can't believe I haven't asked that before. That I, I didn't... No, I didn't don't don't worry about it. It's not exactly the first thing you ask someone. No, but we should kind of pass the first questions, don't you think? I mean, we're friends. I, I want to know these things. I, I... 
I should know these things. I mean, of course, if you if you want to talk about them. Sure. Uh, okay, where do I start? <laughs> well, my mother was... Uh, she was my hero. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I wanted to be just like her. A loving, capable nurse who treated her patients like people. You know, not like patients. Or at least that's how it seemed. I was really little when she died. Like how little? Like, like I'm a little? Yeah. Must have been pretty tough on your dad. Uh, he couldn't even function, much less take care of me. So he sent me to live with my cousins in Puerto Rico. I wasn't much use after Robin died either. Yeah, but you pulled it together for Emma. My father couldn't do that for me. Well, I'm sure he wanted to. Well, he's just not as strong as you are. You miss her? Your mom? Yeah. All the time. But I keep a piece of her close. Is that hers? Yeah. <laughs> she used to listen to my heart with it and say that it told her stories. Secrets about me. <laughs> Things that only my heart knew and... Like, like, like what I'd be when I grew up, you know? And I'd say, a nurse like you, and she'd just smile and say, Mika, it could be anything. Because you can be anything. But she never said what wasn't her secret to tell. I like that. I'm going to steal that. Is that okay? Use it with Emma? Yeah, go for it. She'll love it. <laughs> I use it with all my younger patients. I tell them exactly what my mom told me, that, that their heart will let them know when it's ready. And then it's up to them to make their dream come true. Your mom would be very proud of you, Sabrina. For not graduating from nursing school. No, don't say that. That stethoscope is going to get a lifetime of use, I promise. You think so? Come on, you brought the nurse's ball back to reality. You're going to do the same with your dreams. Well, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. You just got to believe it now. You have to have faith in yourself. Like your mother did. Like I do. I'm sorry. For what? She's been talking about me this whole time. Go, go, light your candle. I'll, I'll talk to you later. No, no, hey, you don't have to go. You sure? We'll light them together, all right? One for your mother, and one for Robin. I'd like that. <laughs> 